Hey, what is up there guys? Has for Pills coming at you with a tutorial this time on how to install ZNC on a Linux server. Basically, ZNC keeps you connected to your IRC server even when you are not connected through your client. So the first thing that you're going to do is make sure that you are not logged in as root or else this will not work. Uh, so, log into a user account that's not root and we'll start by installing the program itself. That will be sudo apt-get install ZNC just enter your password and it will start downloading this may take a slight amount of time so I might fast forward this part push yes to download alright now it has finished installing so what you're going to want to do now is run the ZNC make conf command basically this makes uh, the configuration for ZNC or else it will not work now choose a port that you want it to listen on this will be for both the web based interface and the IRC based interface I'm just gonna go ahead and make it 3000 uh, would you like ZNC to listen using SSL this is your preference I'm gonna say yes um, it'll ask you to create this say yes uh, put yes for IPv6 um, listen host you can leave blank and then for these modules just enable them all because it'll help you in the long run for username uh, type your username well we'll make it my real username uh, enter password I guess oh yeah this is the password for the web based interface and click or hit yes and here's where you enter your nickname for the IRC client I'll just leave it Justin alt nick justin and then there's an underscore <clears throat> excuse me or you can change it uh... identify that's if you need the server to identify you for your nickname and your real name uh... you can leave that blank or put your real name it's up to you ignore bind host number of hosts or lines to buffer per channel now what this means is as people talk while you're disconnected this is how many lines it will save before it starts deleting them so um... I'm just gonna make it 500 because I got a lot of disk space and I wanna see everything so would you like to to keep buffers after replay I'm gonna put no uh, this is if you have any modes that you'd like to enter in IRC I don't really have any and here again these are other modules you wanna enable them all because it will help you in the long run trust me now this is where you're gonna enter your IRC server I'm gonna put my that I'm trying to connect to irc.fire irc.co um, we're gonna make this port 6697 because it is SSL uh, I do this is where you would enter your server password but I do not have one but yes because well depends on your server if it uses SSL or not would you like to add another server for this IRC network I'm gonna say no because I do not uh, enter a password or enter the channel that you want to join I'm gonna hit say yes and you're going to enter that pass. Er, I'm sorry, not password. You're going to enter that channel that you want it to join as soon as it launches. So I'm going to make mine test YouTube. So yeah, and then you can add other channels, but I'm not going to. Uh, would you like to set up another user? No, that's only if you want to change users. Now it's going to say launch ZNC server now. Go ahead and type yes and it is now running so go ahead and open up a web browser and go to your servers IP so mine is that and then add the port on the end and it will say that it's not trusted because well it's a self-signed certificate but you'll be brought to the ZNC web interface now from here on you're gonna wanna enter your username and password that was that initial user that we created in the beginning I'm gonna save my password so then we'll go to global settings and this is where you can set settings and then uh, your settings right here this is what is important for you you're gonna wanna enter your password and then this is where you can get all your information you can change IRC servers you can change your quit message like that real name everything that was in that text base over here can be changed in here um, more modules that you can play around with and then here's your channels if you want to add a new channel you just do that and then enter the channel name but yeah 
So then basically that's it for the setup part. Let's go ahead and connect to it. Okay, so from this point on you're going to want to enter the um, information into your chat client. For this I'm going to be using HexChat which is pretty much the same thing as XChat only for Windows. But anyway, um, you're going to want to add a new server and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the IP address of your server and then you're going to want to make a slash and then the port number that uh, you selected in the beginning there. So I was running it on 3000 so I put 3000 there. Go ahead and push enter and that will be saved there. And then yeah, leave everything else alone, click close and then click connect. Damn it. There we go. Connect. And you'll see it'll ask you for this. It'll say you will need to send your password. So you, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to type quote pass username, which is the original username we picked in the beginning, and password. But I'm going to cover up my password here because, well, it's my password. And you can see that it has connected us to that fireirc.co and it's opened up that test YouTube's channel that we've created. So from here, even if I close this window right here, I would still be connected to the server. I hope this helped. If you do need more help, please do check out, um, or check out, what am I talking about? Please do leave a comment. I'm sorry, it's been a long day. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.